Hello and welcome back. We do have a last exception. This is the first time I'm loading up my game since the new update for life and death. I do need to mostly just rebuild the house. That's what we're working on right now. Not rebuilding, but uh, assigning rooms and getting everybody moved to where they're supposed to be. And then we'll do makeovers for all the people. So that is what this episode is. Why is there not a baby? Oh, that's right. The baby is over here. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Let's just start from the youngest and work our way up. So that baby bed is gone. New baby bed is here. Oh, maybe I need to go in the inventory and see about, oh, mom's inventory to get Dallas's baby prints. And we will be moving Georgia's baby prints. Whoops. Georgia is moving to this room. So we'll move her prints over here. That way I'll know to fix it. Morticia is moving to the toddler room. So this will be Morticia's room. Stella Luna is moving to the kid room and oh her I don't have I don't have her birth certificate oh yes I do for Azalea and wow I have pictures of her I don't have pictures of the rest of the kids wow mom really fell down on it once she had more than one kid but there's Azalea's new room so that's how it's gonna look wow just the absolute <laughs> filthiness of this house but let me move the dust bunnies and things what are these out here oh trash piles I see we have random trash piles around the house oh my gosh let me just also make it daytime outside okay the whole house is still hazy because it's so dirty okay I'm gonna move the laundry in here and I'm gonna move as many dust piles as I can to like the living room area just to get the rooms as clear of stuff as possible so that I can do things and change things around and all that stuff. Okay, so I think we're good. This bedroom is for our new baby Dallas. And we have not rolled or spun anything. So we need to spin first. And then we'll just go ahead and have mom. Let me save. I need to save a lot because I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so here's James's Every Life Stage Challenge, which has... Like everything that we need to do over here. But everything has been cleared. We don't need to worry about that. But we need to spend. Oh my gosh. I have not been doing the activity wheel. Okay. Once every baby. We need to spend this. So we're going to spend the color wheel first. And we've already gotten some colors. So if we get those again. I'm just going to remove them. But this is for Dallas. We've already got a black, gray, and white. That was for Georgia. So we're going to have to spin again. Okay, green or brown? Okay, brown. That's good because Azalea has green, so we would have to redo the spin. But there we go, brown for Dallas. Now we need to do Dallas's style. So we have gotten already farmhouse, mid-century, industrial, and shabby. So we need something that's not those for Dallas. Vintage or mission? vintage vintage is either one would have been okay with brown i think we need to come up with whatever the accent color is going to be and do a lot of that since her color is brown and then the last one is the hobby wheel we already have photography guitar pipe organ and baking so it looks like programming or cross stitch cross stitch how fantastic with her vintage. I love it. Okay, so the only thing that means over here is that mom needs to come in here and change her outfit. And do we have anything that's brown? I mean, we might have to do this. It's called Bubblegum Bunny, but it's like the most toned down. This one, let me see, Little Seedling, that has a brown pot on it. So we might have to do that. Let me see if I can get her to go in there. I'm just going to go real quick. No, you can go to bed in just a second, Nyla. Please go change the baby's clothes. If I don't have her do it right now, I'll never remember to do it. And then I'll be mad at myself about it. Well, you know, it's yellow. It's not brown. But that's the best we have right now. Okay, Dallas. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the house. Dallas has bags under her eyes. She showed up tired. Welcome to the family. Everybody else is tired as well. Okay, 
I'm leaving mom's room just like it is. Oh, we have dirty clothes. Whoa. I did not know that I was paused or not paused. Okay, so we do have, this is our baby over here that is supposed to be over here. And that is Georgia. But her colors are black, gray, and white. So we're going to change her clothes when we get her in there. But let's see. Here's a black one. Nice. All right. What else? That's mom's cross stitch thing. Let's just also change this bed thing to black. That's about all we have as far as like decorations in this room. So I want to work a little bit more on creating an actual infant space over here. I know we only have $600. So, but we shouldn't need to buy, oh, that's not true. We do need to buy a new bed. So maybe I need to sell all these seed packets. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah, they're going to give us a hundred each. That's our reward for appeasing. I don't know what I just deleted. Yeah, that's what I thought. I deleted the whole entire room. Okay, so there we go. We have $1,700 now from selling all of our stuff we got from the, from the gnomes. Okay. Ugh, just the dust floating in the air in this place is very annoying. All right, let's just do another bed like this. How much did this bed cost? $1,600? We're going to be left with $100? We can't do that. I'm sorry. What is this? 633? Three, three. Let's do a 533 three that's cheaper. There's 522. 533 two. Five, three, three is 1300. And this is going to be for Stella Luna. And her colors are purple. So let's put this here and let's move her green bed over here for Azalea. And then I think when they, when they uh, grow up next time, I'm just going to change the colors and leave them in the rooms that they're in because I think we're almost done. Azalea has got to, as a young adult, have a baby, but then I think we're, we're close to done. We're, we're almost finished. So in this room, I'm not in that room. I'm going to get sidetracked in this room. <laughs> well, I think we've bought everything we need to buy because all we really need is a bed up here. And so I'm thinking that maybe I need to focus up here first, like on giving her the colors that she needs. It'll be easy if we just do walls. The walls are already painted, so it shouldn't cost us any money to just change the color of the walls. Then we can work on like maybe curtain things. Let me just say to do the color green and see what we have. Ah, look at all of the CC. She does really good at green. Look at this. Oh, what if we did that on one wall and then we do this? That is not the right color green, but like this, I like this. Yes, on the other walls. Oh, that did cost us a little bit of money, but not much. I like it a lot. Okay, and then I need to come in here and put frames on these pictures. That's weird not to have frames, but I think I want to put her bed over here and I wish now that I could get a different color for her bed. Oh, here's one that's like a darker green, huh? That's also got some green on it. I like this one. The green canopy part matches better than the other one did. Okay, I don't really have anything else. Let's put one, here's her dresser. All right, we've got her dresser in the corner. I, I'm okay with that dark green next to the other green. I think that looks fine. I wish we had space to give her a desk over here. I mean, not space, money, because we definitely have space. We just don't have money. Let me see what I can do. Okay, she has a little desk, and we have almost no money. So this is the most I can do for her right now. And then we're moving to Stella Luna. Oh, my gosh, I totally forgot. Like, her style is farmhouse. Did I even put farmhouse on any of these things as I was deciding? I wonder if this bed is farmhouse. Okay, let me go here and let me sort. I've got green already. So let me do style farmhouse. Okay, good. That is a farmhouse bed. So at least I did look at that initially. Let's say show all and see all the farmhouse stuff. Because I'm sure that this chair and this desk are probably not. But I didn't even think about it. Does this chair work in here? I mean, I don't think it does. I don't think it slots in there. Oh, it's like these antique desks and stuff. Okay, I'm going to sell the desk and the chair. Okay, 
And then let's see if we can find her something else. Because we may just end up giving her a place to like sit and read. It doesn't have to be a desk. Aw, I wish these curtains would work better in her room. If I took out one of the windows, it would work in here. Oh, I could just get her this like storage thing. How much is this going to be though? Oh, it's less than 200 but I have, I don't even have $400. Okay, there we go. How do I not have very much money? Like, our girl just got a promotion to level five in her job. How is that not making any money? What is this? Also, oh, this is a garage, no, run-of-the-mill roof support beam? What? How is this here? Okay. I just want to get rid of you. That gave me $20 for taking that. I think it's because this is supposed to look like a garage. Oh, we don't want it to look like a garage. It's our bedroom. Let's, let's put stone on the outside of this house. And then I think I will take out a window. Oh, it's, it was like double windows on top of each other anyway. Okay, now let me see if I can find those curtains again. Here we go. There we go. It's not bad. I like it. I actually like this better over here. It feels like it just goes better there. Well, when it's not clipping into things like that. But then this feels really naked over here. But oh well, I don't have enough money for any more. If we're going to put anything in any of the other kids' rooms, then I can't do anything else. Do we have even decorations other than plants? No, we don't. Will these plants like go? Okay, okay. That'll work. Let's, oh, that's a little one. <laughs> I was like, will these plants work? They all show up under green because they look green. But I feel like right there it needs to be on something. Oh, how about these? They're still not a green base. Oh, no, those are small too. They look big. What about this? Oh, that is big. Wow. Um, yeah, that's not exactly what I want either. But, oh gosh, how much did that cost? 75 how much are these? 29. Are they little? Yeah, they're kind of little. Okay. This is 30. That's what we're going to go with for now. Ridiculous. We need something for that to go on, but that's the best I can do right now, babe. Okay. The next room. We need to make it purple. Okay. I like her bed. I might leave the floor wood like this and look for a purple rug. Oh my gosh. I forgot I'm still on farmhouse and green. Okay. So hers is mid-century and purple. Look, all these mid-century rugs are too expensive for us. We might have to just be purple for a hot minute. This one's $15 for this little fluffy cloud rug. <laughs> and that might be what we do for her for right now. Let's put her little fingerprint, handprint over the bed. And then, whoops, let's see if we can spend $50 on something for her. Purple decorations. Let me put mid-century back in and just see what we find. Let's look at all the decorations. Wow, we can afford three things. Nope, we can afford more than three. Look at that. We can get her little partially opened thing for $50. Partially opened storage space. Well, that gives us something to put things on top of when we do get money for decorations. So there she goes getting $50 of our money. But then other than doing her walls... I think we're going to have to be done with Stella Luna's room. Let's look. Oh, sorry. Wrong thing. Just show us everything. That's purple in mid-century. This is all we have. So how about just purple? Okay, I want something that matches the purple in her bed and the purple on her little dresser thing over there. Let's try this one. This one's going to give us back $1, which I, <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I'm fine with. Okay. Oh, also, we didn't put a floor over here. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to sell this and get her a floor. Let me do farmhouse and just see what we get. Okay. $4 for some timber. What if we did a light colored floor? I like it, but there we go. Like that color. Okay. Wow. We still have money left. That thing must have been really expensive that we got. So what if we try to get one of these open storage things for her over here and put this on top of with our like extra 50 bucks that we have? Let's see what we can find. Here's farmhouse shelves. A shorty shelf. <laughs> okay, I don't hate it. And it's only, and it's 45. Let's see if we can find like a lighter color. Maybe this color. I like it. And then put this on top. Yeah, that's better. 
Got our little mini decorative area over here. I don't know what else we'll put in there, but okay. Now we've got Stella Luna's bed bedroom done as well. Now we move in here to Morticia. Yes, we have her on the wall. Morticia is yellow. So can we find a yellow bed? Oh, we really cannot. Not in this. We're going to have to sell it and try to get another one. This is going to give us 160 Let's get off farmhouse. Let's go to comfort. Yes, we do want beds. And I need to avoid CC beds. Oh, her style is industrial. But these are not any, they're not going to give us baby stuff. Is that in a whole separate section for kids? Yes. Oh, not kids. Oh, we don't have one for younger than kids. Okay, let me go back over here then. She's just going to have to deal with some kind of toddler bed and... We do not have enough money for any of these. This is that same bed. And this bed that probably does come in yellow. Well, I don't know if it comes in yellow or not. Let's filter items to yellow. Okay. They're saying this bed. Oh, that bed does come in yellow. How much is it? 160 And when we sell this, we're going to get 160 So that's exactly what we need for this bed. Okay. So we're right back where we started. But at least we have a yellow and orange bed. Oh, the guitar comes over here with Stella Luna. Now, the bad part is our girl over here needs a dang, uh, what is her? Oh, there's yellow too. A pipe organ. Girl, absolutely not. Do we have money for a pipe organ? Oh, also her accent color is black that goes with her, her yellow, yellow and black. Let's see if this is the same price as what we put in here before. No, it's cheaper. Great. So we can do black. And then let's see if we can get, like, look how bright that yellow is. I kind of really want to do that yellow, but then it makes her bed look really not yellow. Hmm. What do we have option-wise for the beds? Ugh. Really? We don't have any yellow toddler beds. It's real dumb. Can this bed, bear be yellow? Nope. It can be brown, but not yellow. Mm -hmm. What about in here? That can be pink with some yellow. Okay, we're going to have to go with that. And then this one. There we go. That's the closest. We have yellow on top at least. Right there, gingerbread house with yellow. Okay, so then in this room, we're going to do yellow walls in here, which costs us nothing. And we're going to do black floor in here, which gives us more money. I love it. Okay, we're leaving the bathroom like it is. Now, so this is Stella Luna, by the way, riding this horse. <laughs> and so this is her. No, that is not. That is Morticia riding the horse. I was like, wait, that looks like Mortimer's daughter. That is Morticia. Okay. And so this is her whole space. This thing. Oh, there's a yellow one of these, right? What? Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can find another one. There's, oh, there's a yellow one. Yes, ma'am. The potty time, buddy. Look how yellow that is. Okay. And then I am sad about you not having a good mm. yellow bed, but that's the most we can afford right now. This toddler bed is yellow, but we can't afford it. So is this one. It's also CC. Oh, that's a kid bed. So at least we know we're going to have kid beds that are yellow. Oh, we could do all kinds of yellow things if we had more money. Okay. Nope. It doesn't matter. We don't have enough money. Also, I don't know about her playing the pipe organ right now. Activities and skills. Oh, we've got the life event activities. Creative is where we want to be to get it. I just need to see. Oh, there it is. The parlor organ is $1,220. So I'm going to put that out beside her... Um, because we bought a camera for Azalea and we have a guitar for Stella Luna. Our problem now is, is buying that pipe organ. And then Georgia wants to do baking and we have a kitchen for that. And Dallas is going to do cross stitch and we have cross stitch stuff already right here for that. So it's really just getting the pipe organ for Morticia. I mean, of course, she's going to be a problem. Didn't everybody see that coming? coming? Okay. I think that's everything in here with the yellow and the black and as much yellow as we can possibly do with the animals or the toys. I saw the bear and said animals, which is not a lot. Okay, now into this room, which is where 
Georgia is going to be. And she is black, gray, and white. So we've already got her little black thing on the play mat. Let's see about a floor for her. I like this floor. It just seems weird that we come in here and then we like immediately change the floor in somebody's room. But since they're not changing rooms anymore, this is where they're staying. Maybe it's okay. I think maybe in this room, I can put that as like a little dramatic touch in the middle and then put regular boards around it. Let me do one more right here. I like it. I don't know why. It's just something a little bit different. Okay, and she's already got the mat that she's laying on. And there's not really anything else that she needs. Like, babies don't have other things. I will see about any other... Oh, maybe I can afford a changing table now. I don't know. What if we put this cornered table here? I'm wanting her to be able to look at stuff from where she is. And I'm not sure what kinds of things she can even look at. Like if I put this little diaper thing right here, maybe she can look at it. I don't know. It only cost us nine. So we're going to leave it there. Okay. Oh, and her walls. Black, white, and gray. What if I did like gray and black alternating patterns on the walls? Listen, I'm going all in on this. What is this? Oh my gosh. <sighs> maybe I change it to that as she gets bigger because I love this so much. Maybe I do it now. And then, wait, can I not afford it? Oh, I can totally afford it. What? Okay, and we do have to take, like, Mom's got all the baby pictures in here. We do have to get those moved out because uh, Mom, and Mom did take pictures of everybody. I said she didn't, but there's a bunch of people. <laughs> I don't know who's who in those pictures, but she's got pictures of people. Okay, and so mom will get her stuff out of here eventually. Let's just move that out into the hallway. That's out of baby girl's room. Well, maybe she can look at it. I don't know. And I put this out here for no reason. Nobody has time to come outside and lay in a chair. No. I don't know who I thought I was, but nobody has time to do that. Okay, so maybe I'm just going to leave us with $300 and not get us all the way down to zero. Because I do have to... Uh, we do have to pay the person that's coming to clean our house. All right, light brown, dark brown. Let's look at some wallpaper for in here. Okay, I don't hate the light brown. Can I change her crib color? Oh, I can, but it looks like I have no options. Okay, you just get to stay yellow then. Maybe the darker brown. I don't know, we have dark brown on the floor. We could have a lighter brown. Yeah, that's almost like a yellow color when the light shines on it. Okay, I like that brown. Some of these get to be like, see, that's definitely brown. If I did that, though, I want the floor to be a different color. Or I could do that with a white trim. I kind of like that one. All right, let's see about changing this. Ugh. None of those are brown. They're too cute. That's like the closest that we have with ladybugs on it. Okay, that's fine. This is our baby, baby's room. Oh, maybe we can do a rug in here. Let's look at that. Of course, we've got a fresh beginning faux fur rug in brown. Let's see what else we have, though. We've got these four dots. <laughs> They're always so small. I never know where to use them because they always seem really weird. Oh, on the spot. There we go. That's not bad. Just a brown, round rug that fits perfectly in that space. I mean, we could do this and say that her accent color is going to be like that teal. Let's look at it. Like this one. I like that. I kind of want to change her color because she's wearing a yellow shirt and she had a yellow bed. I did not like it. Okay, whatever. I like it right now. I think it's good. And then mom gets to keep the pink. She likes pink. Pink and blue are her colors. So like the whole house is pink and blue. So, I mean, I don't know that we improved it very much, but at least all the kids now have colors that match their them in their rooms. And I think we're ready to go do makeovers. Let me save again. And then we will load them up. Okay, I just realized the one thing we forgot to do was make her an adult. She's supposed to be an adult, not a young adult. And there's still a cake out here with candles on it. So we're going to have, we're going to have Nyla come out here and blow out the candles on this cake. She's like, all I want to do is sleep and you will not leave me alone. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Come on. There you go. 
And maybe we'll just leave the cake here for everybody to eat cake. We have so many dirty dishes around here that, oh my gosh. Okay, Nyla is an adult. So we're going to do a little makeover for Nyla as well when we're making over. Oh, I cannot do it because she's still aging up. Sorry. Okay, now I can. <laughs> and there's only six people in our house, so we should be able to do it. Nyla's like, I really want to go to bed. You can. Go ahead, Nyla. Oh my gosh, our girl got unhappy infant, but she was a happy toddler. Well, that's the best I can do. Why don't you come in? That's not your bed. Sorry, this is your bed. Let me assign this bed. Oh, to Stella Luna. And then you can come in here and go to sleep. And Azalea, still your bed. Okay, good. She was a happy infant. <laughs> unhappy infant. Uh, fussy, quick learner, and destructive, but we don't know what kind of infant she was. I got nothing about that. And then somehow Georgia is dastardly already. Okay, she's also starving, but okay, we're not here for any of that. It's Nyla's time. Let's go get clothes for everybody. So we know that Nyla likes pink and blue. I'm not going to be changing everything. We just will maybe give her, oh, she has two outfits. We're just doing a little updating. More in the line of like, I now have four children. Five children. One, two, three, four, five children. Is it a new thing where the babies are up higher? Like, can y'all all see that or is that just me? <laughs> Does the baby's picture look different than it did before the update? I'm Anybody who notices things other than me, notice this. Okay, can I make her shoes a darker pink or is that as pink as they'll go? I really dislike how much hair she has on her legs. Which I know is a choice, but is it an option to just have like a little? Oh, that is a little, and that's a lot, and that's, oh, medium? <laughs> I don't know, I'm so confused. Okay, that's less, and that's more. Oh, I see, high school years got two variations. From nothing to this is what we had before, and then high school years got a little less and more. Okay, we're, we're gonna go less. Okay, I was just checking to see if she had hair on her back. She does not. Okay, let's, let's go back to clothing then. Okay, so let's start here. I didn't touch all of her clothes. These are her hot weather clothes. I mean, cold weather. She's got two outfits for hot weather. I love this shirt. I was like, she could make that with her. Well, she cross stitches, not knits, I guess. Anyway, her swimwear, her party wear, her sleepwear. I didn't touch any of that. Her athletic wear. I was like, what if she just wants to be comfy? Like, she's not working out. But if she did, she's just throwing on some sweats and a cat hoodie. The end. I left her formal the same as well. It's pink and it's a beautiful dress. Where's she going to wear that? I don't know, but that's it. And then she's got two outfits for every day. And that is Nyla. I love the braid that Azalea has. She's so pretty. Okay, she likes green and she likes farmhouse style. So to me, that's like country, right? I'm leaving her hair like it is, and we're going to look at some stuff that is green. I don't want everything to be green, but we'll just see. And then what about some country and outdoorsy, and then probably some basics. Yeah. Okay, I like that. So let's get her dressed. Okay, here is Azalea. This is her main teenage look. This is number two. I did put these plum bob earrings on her in every outfit except for her formal outfit. This is what she's wearing with some hoops. I did darken her makeup for the day or the night, whatever, when she's formal. Here is her athletic wear. I guess I do probably need to take the earrings off if she's going to be working out. But anyway, that's what's on her right now. This is her sleep stuff, which of course she doesn't need them for sleep, but I copied them to everything. So I need to go take them off. Here is her party outfit. Here is her swimwear, which again, probably not the jewelry. Hot weather, there's one and there's two. I made this one super green, so I tried to make this one a lot less green. And then we have her cold weather. Oh, I forgot to take the piercing out of her nose on that one, but this is it. One outfit and the other one. So let me go do these little touch-up things I need to do. Oh yeah, she's also got something going on with her eyes in this one but 
All right. I fixed those things on her athletic and her sleepwear. And then I fixed what was going on with her in her hot weather wear, cold weather wear. Wow. Why did I say that? Okay. Next up is Stella Luna. Her colors are, or her color is purple. And her style is mid-century. So we're definitely going to do basic. And mid-century to me seems... I don't know, kind of, I wish I had a description because I don't know if it would be like hipster or maybe more like preppy. I only know that mid-century modern <laughs> and mid-century is like the 50s though, right? So I would feel like it would be like preppy and polished, but we're going to mostly focus on purple right now as she's a child and I'm just going to go through and get her some clothes as quickly as possible. All right, here is Stella Luna. She has two everyday outfits. Here's her formal, her athletic. She came wearing that athletic. There's her sleepwear. I did give her one with her hair up because that's how she had it already. And then one with her hair out of the wrap. And then her party wear, her swimwear, her hot weather wear. She has two of those and two cold weather wear. And that is Stella Luna, which means that next up is our little Morticia. <laughs> and we did say we were going to try to keep these glasses on her if we could find one that was yellow. So that is my plan. And there they are. <sighs> Here she is looking just like Mortimer Goth. I think I'm going to have one outfit with the glasses on and one outfit with it off. But anyway, let me make Morticia. Okay, here is Morticia. She has two outfits. This is her one with the glasses on she aged up with. She has a formal outfit. Here's her two sleep outfits. She's got party wear, swimwear, hot weather wear has two outfits, and cold weather wear has two outfits. And that's Morticia. That just leaves us with Georgia, who is black, gray, white, and shabby. <laughs> All right, Georgia. We'll see what we're going to do with you. Okay, Georgia. Here she is. <laughs> I did not pay attention at all to the shabby. We just did black, gray, and white. She has five everyday outfits. And she has five sleep outfits and you can see some overlap in a few of them there we go then she has one hot weather nope that's wrong two hot weather and one cold weather and that is georgia <laughs> and then we just have our baby dallas but this is everybody i thought that since we were doing all the makeovers that we would just do an every life stage update picture i am gonna do the hashtag Amanda plays Sims. That way, if you guys want to go look for Nyla and her family, or it's always under my Feaser family gallery ID. However, you will have to make sure you select the thing that says it's modded. I did use some modded hair on a few people. You know what? Maybe not anybody, actually, now that I think about it. So there may be some jeans on a couple of outfits that are modded. Otherwise, I think that's it. So I'm going to upload them to the gallery, and we are going to let them go back to their house. We will join them in the next episode where we're actually playing the family and trying to get some things done there. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.